Got a chain from Amazon today. None too soon. A little wind gust came through, knocked over the uh, neighbor's tree. I got this uh, Lynx 40 volt chainsaw. My brother burned up the chain, so I just ordered another one. Came today. I couldn't even sharpen the one he burned up. But uh, this arrived today just in time. About a 40 mile an hour gust of wind came through and uh, knocked over the neighbor's tree on the fence. And people wonder, you know, when I shoot all these vermin, especially red squirrels, people wonder why I do it. It's because they hollow out these trees. Look at that. The heartwood dies, and then the sapwood on the outside maintains the, uh, you know, life of the tree. But really, it's dead on the inside, so just like me. I like these battery-operated electric chainsaws because they have just enough power for these light jobs. Look at this. Look at, there's a the nest. Unbelievable. Oh, highly believable. It's right here in front of me. <sighs> Race guys are gonna clear up. Put on a happy face. <laughs> and spread sunshine all over the place. Put on a happy face. Yeah, this here, this is evidence of termite action. Plus these holes here, you could see uh, on the outside and the inside here, you could see where uh, woodpeckers have pecked on the outside and termites have uh, burrowed on the inside. Ants too. These wind gusts, these blustery fall winds, that's what causes this. My ambition was to cut down this tree here. That's why I got that little chainsaw chain. I figured that's all I needed. Well, I gotta top it. Anyway, uh, it's just, I guess, uh, winds of fortune blowing this one over, allowing me to cut it up. But it'll be a work in progress. Let's see if I can get this one. So I'm in the yard. Could have ran anywhere by the time I went and got this rifle. There he is. Got to zero this thing. Yeah, these one. Two inch branches. They really ain't shit for this. Even once you get up here, it's about two and a half. But yeah. These electric cordless lithiums are really optimum for that. But eventually I'm gonna have to cut this big fucker. And it's a good, uh, looks to be 18 inches in diameter. So by the time I get to that, we'll see what this uh, chainsaw is worth. All right, coming up on a battery change. It's that simple. No mixing oils with gas, nothing like that. You can check your charge level I'm down to one. So I'm gonna go put this one on the charger here soon. Now it's starting to drizzle a little. And I'm onto the, uh, I'm onto the five inch sections. Brand new blade, good battery, handles it like nothing. <clears throat> you know, for uh, for like $60 a damn battery, that's the expensive part. I'll tell you, get the extended warranty on that. Some of them are faulty, I'll say that. But uh, 180, 
nine, about $190. The performance I've been getting out of this 40 volt, well, I don't need to say it, but I will. Better performance than a pulling. Of about the same, uh, same price range, I should say. You can get a larger bar, but I'd be hesitant to go with anything over 16. Cut this from the bottom here. So that's a, like an eight inch section there. A lot of pressure on it. But you saw that, uh, or you had seen, handled it pretty easily. I'm just gonna go with a straight cut now on the eight. Kind of an unnecessary cut for the uh, for the idea of yard maintenance. Yeah, that's all eight inches right there. And uh, you can see it handled it pretty good. But again, fresh battery, new saw blade, comes to be expected. You know, earlier I said this was an unnecessary cut. I didn't know what to do with it at first because it left me a little stumped. But um, But uh, it'll help get this uh, main branch off the ground. Give me something to set this on so I can continue to cut it in the more manageable sections. of the 10 inch sections now you can already tell by that cut I've already done it so now I get to showcase it takes a little doing you gotta watch your cross section if you create if you create too much drag on the chain Forty volts or not, it's not going to get it done. That's not bad, considering the battery's low. But uh, the first cut dramatically uh, easier. All right, all right. So it's only been fifteen minutes since I put this battery on. Uh, give me time to let that one rest, and uh, I'll go get some water. I'll recharge while it's recharging. All right. GoPro, stop recording.